Hi guys, 500 subscribers, who'd have thought? Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a channel update, what I'm going to be working on for the next few months, and uh, announce a couple of things. See you in a second. Scruffy Crow. So, yeah, 500 subscribers. Um, I only make this channel for fun, so any subscribers is a bonus. Um, to all you guys, all 500 of you, thanks for watching. Um, it's great to see you. To everybody else, so 70% of the views on my videos are people who aren't subscribed. Just, you know, subscribe. Why not? What's it going to hurt? Um, it's all appreciated. And I do, even though it's fun, I do like seeing that little number go up. It is a lot of fun. Okay, so to celebrate getting 500 subscribers, I have launched my own little Discord server. Um, the link will be in the description, and it'll be in the description of all my videos going forward. And um, what I really want to do, what, what I really want to achieve from this is going to be, uh, I want to give a way for you guys to talk to me in rather than just in the comments of the videos. Um, I've got a separate bit for my YouTube channel. I've put a separate bit in for Johnny Watson's YouTube channel. Uh, so he'll be a admin in theory on there as well. Uh, so you can jump in and talk to us about our specific, I've put topics here for all of the games that I cover. So come in there, talk to each other about uh, that game, um, what you're working on, I want to see lots of pictures, that'd be great. And I'll be filling in those as I'm working on stuff, stuff that maybe is not worth a video. I'll just be like, oh look, I put this on there, put this on there. Um, and so there's quite a lot of stuff that I'll put putting on there, uh, just casually, because uh, I'm moving away from Facebook a little bit, um, that will kind of cover the gaps between my videos, I think. Um, and it'll give you an idea of just what I'm working on day to day. Also, it'll give you guys opportunity to ask me questions or tell me what you'd like to see in a video. That'd be really cool feedback. So yeah, I might even put some like, polls on there and stuff uh, about what I could work on next and what you think's working and what you think isn't. So yeah, just in general, I think it'd be really great to create a little community out of you guys that comment a lot, uh, bring a few people, more people on board uh, and just get chatting and just another place to uh, discuss the hobby, I think. Uh, that'd be really good. Okay, so as far as a channel update goes, um, as you'll have seen, for the last month or so, I've been working on Epic. I've been thoroughly enjoying getting through some of these little demon engines and all the other bits and pieces that are currently adorning my uh, my in-progress shelf at the moment. Um, I have completely seen that the that the response, the public response from that, has not been as positive as for the Oathmark stuff or even the Arrow One stuff. Um, I've kind of taken that on board. I'm not going to stop posting Epic stuff. I'm going to get this army finished because one of the reasons why I use YouTube is to get myself motivated to finish a project. Like I said, I'm not going to stop making these uh, epic videos, um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to intersperse some more stuff that more people are interested in, uh, keep everyone interested. Uh, so I'll be interspersing some battle reports for sure, uh, and then I've got a few units here and there uh, that I'll be working on, including a Hell Cannon that I'll be using for Worlds of Erewhon, and a Dragon uh, that maybe you'll see some use in Oathmark. Uh, so I'm going to try and mix and match the epic stuff, which I know hasn't got that much of a wide appeal, um, with some bits that you could still be interested in if you are solidly down for your Oathmark or uh, World of Everyone. One of the reasons I want to get stuff finished, including these little bits and pieces, but also the bigger projects, is because I think I've talked about it before, I am going to move house. Currently, this is my entire hobby space. As you can see, not very big. I mean, that's it. We have two little shelves and this tiny little desk, which tends to get a bit messy because everything has to fit in this little area. My movie house and getting my new space has been put back by another couple of months, hopefully in by Christmas, um, where I'll have a lot more room to do a lot more exciting stuff, get a better lighting set up, uh, get better audio set up, a whole bunch of stuff, really, really exciting, but just get, keeps getting pushed back at the moment, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I really want to get some projects finished, so when we move in there, I get all that set up, I can start some new projects and have a bit of a clean slate. So two of the big projects I'm thinking of, uh, that I need to, what I want to try and get finished up maybe, are uh, I have an entire Boromite army for Beyond the Gates of Antares um, that have barely been touched in over a year. I've never played the game uh, other than a few couple of demos. It works really nicely. Um, I really like the bolt action Wards of Arrow on um, K47 rule system, the order dice system. I, I'm a big fan. Um, so I would love to get some games of that in. But even if I don't, 
I love the little Boromite models, I think they've got a certain little charm to them. Uh, so I really want to get those finished up, um, which would be really cool to get them at least out on display and, uh, and finished, it'd be fun. Another thing, completely out of character for my army, and sci-fi again, uh, is I've actually got some 40k. Um, and I really need to dig it all out and see, make, take stock. Um, but it'd be cool to have a 40k army available. Um, it tends to be easy to get pickup games, and now the clubs are reopening and stuff. And it'd be just interesting to uh, to put some out together for a change and uh, and maybe throw some paint on that. And the third one is K47. Uh, they've got not got a lot of that undone. Um, I think there's still a few bits of painting to do here and there. Um, a few couple of vehicles and the stuff I just showed you in the cabinet, including the Merlin, uh, that need to get finished up. So, have you guys got any preference? Would I, would you rather see Beyond the Gates of Antares, uh, K47, or 40K? I'm certainly never going to be turned into a 40K channel, though, so don't worry. Uh, one other tiny little thing that I want to finish up is I said the drug got the dragon. You may have spotted some Arkworld Trolls on that shelf. Um, I've also got this little selection of Arkworld models here. Um, I'm actually playing a game of Warlords of Erewhon um, this Friday. Um, and um, I want a couple of these guys to join that army. This is currently all the halflings I have unpainted for Arkworld. This guy's not an Arkworld guy. However, I have just backed the latest Kickstarter, um, which has finished up. So I really want to get these guys uh, finished and done with before uh, that Kickstarter finishes, before I get more halflings from Arkworld um, to add to the queue. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was battle reports. Uh, I've got another game happening on Friday, which will be my first game at the my local gaming club since the start of the whole pandemic nonsense, um, which I'm really looking forward to. I said that's going to be Warlords of Everyone, so keep an eye out for that. Should have a pretty brief battle report for that by the end of... Uh, I'll be on it next week at least. Uh, hopefully I'll also be doing a sort of more narrative Oathmark campaign with Johnny Watson. Uh, so if you like my battle report from the other day, hopefully they can, they'll can they be improved going forwards. Um, and all my, but for the time being all my battle reports will be out and about uh, in gaming clubs or houses. Um, and hopefully then by Christmas I'll be able to do some in-house battle reports and that's what I'm really excited for. Um, so yeah, if you if you like my style of battle reports, um, and I've got a few more ideas coming up, uh, keep an eye out for them because that's going to get really good, I think. Oh, actually, one more thing. Um, who's interested in live streaming? Uh, it's not something I've ever done before, uh, but it seems popular. Uh, who'd be interested in a regular, maybe a Thursday night, potentially, uh, live stream? Or maybe a Wednesday? Uh, maybe only an hour or so, probably talking to maybe me and Johnny. Uh, or anyone else who wants to get involved. Uh, what do you guys think to that? Would that be something that could interest people? All right, I think I've caught you up with my plans, what I'm working on, um, and my sort of yeah, plans for the future and where the channel's going. Uh, once again, I'd love to say thank you to all 500 people who are my subscribers now. Um, I am overwhelmed that this channel has, that people are interested in what I've got to say. Please um, come and join the Discord, uh, even if you've never used Discord before. I hadn't until fairly recently, um, and it's actually a really interesting way of communicating, I think. Um, so click on it, try it out, uninstall it off your phone for five minutes if, you don't, if you're not interested, but uh, come, and have a, come and say hi at least. Thanks for watching, not just this video, but all of them. Uh, see you next time. Bye.